Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 265, question number 7, quantitative comparison number 7. Let's take a look at it. They give you a little picture here, so let me let me reproduce the picture here. This is the information that is given to us. The question simply is, what's the perimeter, perimeter of the triangle PQR? That's not a very well drawn picture, is it? Let me redo it. This is, this is no good. Not a big improvement, but uh, hopefully a little bit better. The perimeter of triangle PQR versus 36 is what is what we have to compare. Well, for those of you who do not know what I'm about to say, you're going to have to do it the long way, which is going to take you a little bit extra time, or maybe a few more seconds. And for those of you who do know it, uh, would, uh, would appreciate uh, the, the, the speed. There are two triangles uh, that you should know before you sit for the exam. Either you take, it doesn't matter whether it's SAT or GRE or GMAT. There are some basic things that you have to know. There are two very commonly appearing triangles uh, on the exam. One is what is known as a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It applies only to a right angle triangle obviously. A 3, 4, 5 triangle is so called because if one side is 3 and the other side is 4 then hypotenuse always works out to be 5. Why? Because 3 squared plus 4 squared is 9 plus 16 which is 25 which of course is 5 squared. And had you known that part you would have immediately seen that this is 3 and this is 4 therefore the missing side is 5. Another triangle that you should know for the exam is this one. It's called, by the way, these are the only two triangles that you have to worry about as far as the whole integers are concerned. You should know by heart. Uh, you should, these, are, these, are, these are very, very handy triangles. Uh, again, you'll notice that if, if this is 12 and this is 5, 12 squared is 144. 5 squared is 25, 5 squared is 25, and therefore it adds up to 169, which, which, you, which you, you should also know that is the square of 13. You should know the squares of 1 through 10 obviously, and then you also should know uh, basic things like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 you don't have to worry about, doesn't appear very often. 18, 19 you don't have to worry about. But you should know these. And if you don't know, learn them. 11 squared is 121. 12 squared is 144. 13 squared is 169. 14 squared is 196. 15 squared is 225. 16 is 256. 256 and then 400. You should know by heart. So again, since this is 13 and this is 5, the missing sign has to be 12. Now like I said, if you didn't know this part, it's not a big deal. You can always do it out. Once you figure out that this is 5 by doing 3 squared and 5 squared, you just have to do it out. And you would do it out like this, 13 squared in this case. Once you figure out this is 5, that 13 squared has to be the 5 squared plus, let's call this the x and you just solve for x. 
subtract 5 square from both sides and you'll see that 13 square minus 5 square is exactly 144 which is, which is, the, which is the square of 12. So anyway, so what's the perimeter of this part was just, just extra. Just to tell you that this is something that you should know by heart. The perimeter of this guy is 5 plus 12 plus 13. 5 plus 12 plus 13, I don't know what it is, but it is less than 36. How do I know that? Because 13 uh, because 12 times 3 is 36. So this is 12 and this is a little, little bit more than 12. Had this been 11, the sum would have been 36 because this 11 would, uh, this 11 would, this 11, one less would compensate for the fact that this is one more. It's not 36, it's less than 36. I don't know why I'm making such a big fuss, just add them up, you'll see. 2 plus 5 is 3, uh, 2, plus, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, so it looks like it's exactly 30. And this is 36, the answer is B. One more time, I'm going to quickly explain to you what my logic was, how I figured out that this was not 36. In order for this to be 36, since this is 12 and this is 13, this would have to be 11. It's not 11, it's only 5. So, so in, in other words, what I, was, what I was figuring out is not what it is, which I ended up actually doing it anyway, just for you, that it is 30, but I wasn't interested in the fact that it is 30. What I was interested in was the fact that it is less than 36. So what it is actually is of no interest to me. These are called quantitative comparison not computation. The answer is B. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring or online tutoring, or if you wish to buy any of the solution values to any of these questions in the book, any, any questions, you, you can go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com, and send me an email. Just give me one second how much time I have left on the tape. Uh, if, if I have some more time, I'm going to do one more, one more thing. I'm only seven minutes into it, so let's play along. Well, let's, let's play around uh, a little bit more. These three, four, five triangles that I'm telling you, or for that matter, this one, the problem is that when they appear, here you got lucky, a three, four, tri a three, four five triangle, appears as a 3-4-5 triangle, but most of the time, the vast majority of the time, when these triangles appear in the exam, either a 3-4-5 triangle or 5-12-13 triangle, they usually appear incognito. If you don't know what incognito is, look it up and learn it. For example, if I ask you how much is uh, 15 and 9, how much is this side, well, you should immediately realize that this is in fact a 3-4-5 triangle incognito. This 9 is 3 times 3, this 15 is 5 times 3, so this has to be 4 times 3. That's so basically what you're doing here is taking a 3-4-5 triangle, pretend, pretend that you have a 3-4-5 triangle on a piece of paper and you put it in a Xerox machine and you're magnifying it, magnifying it to 300% of the original size. You see it's 3 times as large. But it, it's the same triangle, nothing changes. So if this is three times as if this side is three times as large and this side is three times as large, then this side has to be three times as large. The missing side is 12. I don't have to waste my time doing the mumbo jumbo with 15 square and 9 square. That would take forever. Alright? Anyway, thank you again.